Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is continue to take a look at how we can easily create parts using 1CNC geometry. Now, if we take a look at this part, we can see that it's not too complicated, but based upon the other parts we've created so far, it's probably a little bit more involved, but it's still very simple to create, and the process is exactly the same. And what I would suggest is you look at your part, See if you have champers or fillets, and if you do, you can always put those on later on. And I would just work on creating the main geometry first, and then work on trimming and fillets and chamfers later on. So let's do that. What we'll do with this part is we'll create this basic shape, this rectangle first. And then what we'll do is we'll create these arcs, both these outside arcs and internal arcs here. And then we'll create the fillets. And then we'll finish the project by creating this hole. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to turn the blueprint layer off. Let's head over here to the main toolbar and we'll select line. Now I want my line to start at X0, Y0, Z0. So I can type in the coordinates and click OK if I'd like. Or I can easily come over here and just snap the datum. Now I want to use coordinates now. So I'll come over here to X and I'm going to type in, I believe it's 165 for that. And we'll click OK. Now we're going to come down to Y minus... Uh, looks like 75 for that. And we'll click OK to that. I'm going to go now to X0. We'll click OK. And notice how we're just typing in the axis or the coordinate values that change here. So we'll type in 0. We'll click OK. And then when we're finished, we can just right hand mouse click. Now let's see how we're doing. We're going to come over here and turn our layer back on. And again, I just use these blueprint layers just to make sure that we're on track in regards to our dimensions. But it looks like we're in good shape right here. All right, now let's create these two arcs right here. Now these have a radius of 30 millimeters, all right? So let's turn this off. Let's head back over to the main toolbar and select our arc tools here. We're gonna use the default command, which is just a simple 360 degree arc. Now our blueprint gave us a radius of 30. Now it's easy for us to work out in our head that a radius of 30 is gonna to equate to a diameter of 60, but I wanna remind you that you can always type in formulas. We can type in 30 and then we can use the asterisk times two. And then if you hit the equal sign, you can see that one CNC will perform the calculation for you. Now that works in geometry, it works in manufacture, it works everywhere within one CNC where you have a numeric field. You can always use formulas. Now how do we get the arcs to uh, be created right at those corners? Well it's real simple. Just take your cursor and just left hand mouse click and what you're doing is you're snapping to the geometry. It's as simple as that. Alright now let's create these two arcs. Now these two arcs have a different diameter and if we look at the blueprint it looks like they're 50. Now I can stay within this command and simply come over here and type in 50 for the new diameter and then one CNC dynamically changes that diameter and we just repeat the same process. We'll just left click or entity digitize both those corners and then when we're finished we'll right hand mouse click. Okay great. Now let's take a look at trimming. Let's turn our blueprint layer back on. Our circles look good. All right, now I'll demonstrate two different types of trimming. We'll take a look at trim two and also the scissors command. I think those are probably the most commonly used ones. So let's head over to the main toolbar and grab our trim tools. And we're first gonna look at trim two. Now with trim two, you need to trim two entities. And the idea is that when you're trimming two entities, you wanna digitize the portion of the entity that you wanna keep or that you wanna save. Let me demonstrate, we're gonna grab trim two all right, and let's work in this corner over here. All right, I want to keep this lot, the portion of this line, and keep this portion of the arc. So I'm going to left click here and left click here. Now let's let's we're still in the trim two command. Let's do the same trim procedure down here. I want to keep this portion of the arc and this portion of the line. Perfect. So all you're doing when you use trim two is you're trimming two entities and you're digitizing the portion of the geometry that you want to keep. It doesn't matter which direction you go. Let's repeat the same process over here. We're going to left click and left click and you're always digitizing the portion of the geometry you want to keep. Perfect. That's called trim two. Now trim scissors works a little bit different. With trim scissors you're digitizing what you want to get rid of. All right, and let's work over here. Now, in this example, I want to get rid of these two lines in this arc, and it doesn't matter which direction we can go. I'm going to left click, left click, and left click. You can digitize in any order that you'd like, and the idea with trim scissors, again, is you're just digitizing what you want to get rid of. They're both, uh, both very powerful uh, trim commands, and I think they're the most commonly used, so if you can get a handle on those two, you're going to be in good shape for trimming. 
All right, let's take a look now at putting these fillets on here. Let's bring our, our, our blueprint layer back on. And we can see that the fillets have a radius of 12.5. Okay, so let's head back over here. Let's turn our blueprint layer off. That looks good. Let's, I've already selected our arc tools. Let's grab our fillet command. I already have 12.5 in there. When you're putting fillets in, it really typically doesn't matter which direction you digitize your geometry. But when you're when you're working with arcs, when you're trimming or putting fillets on arcs or circles, it's a good idea and it will be helpful if you can digitize your geometry in a counterclockwise fashion. So just think of counterclockwise. So we're going to put a fillet in here. I'm going to left click and left click. So down here, same thing. I want to digitize in a counterclockwise direction. I'm going to left click and left click. Same thing over here. We want to digitize counterclockwise. That looks good. And it's something you don't have to do, but I just know that internally arcs are created counterclockwise and it just helps out if you can do that. When we're finished, we're going to right hand mouse click. Now I think we're in really good shape here. Let's turn our print layer back on. Everything looks good. And the last thing we need to do now is to create this hole. This has a diameter of 40 millimeters. So let's come back over here, back to the main toolbar and we're going to just change this to 40 and we want to put this arc right at the arc center here so again just come over wait till you see that little diamond symbol and left click and when you're finished right hand mouse click so there you go there's project three very very simple same type of steps create the main geometry first put your fillets and chamfers in later on and very very simple alright thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video